Okay, the thumbnail was like this because I was seriously in shock at how many items I have in this category. I am decluttering foundations, concealers, powders, primers, and setting sprays. And I did a pretty good job of it, you guys, and I want to get into this so that you can see it and this video doesn't take a really long time. Please keep in mind that I keep a lot of foundations because I'm always testing foundations. What's better for mature skin? What is going to be the best thing for it? And I'll tell you what my criteria is for a foundation, just so you know. It is that it works well on my dry skin. It works well on my mature skin. It doesn't show up any texture. It has to have like a natural like satin finish, not really matte, not really dewy because a dewy foundation can accentuate my texture as much as a matte one can. So it has to be almost that sweet spot in there. Now there are some exceptions that say they are matte, but I find that when I get them on my skin, they're satin. I don't know whether that's because of the primers I use or how I prep my skin, I'm not sure. So definitely cannot accentuate texture and it has to last on me. I don't wanna put something on and an hour or two, it just be like melting off my face and it looks like it's either pulling apart or it just doesn't look good at all. And now so I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get into my declutter of my base makeup products so that you guys can see what I got rid of and what I kept. Okay guys, this is it. Powders, primers, finishing sprays or any sort of sprays actually foundations and concealers and that's what we're going to be doing today i am going to run through these very quickly most of these you will understand i'm going to do foundations very last we're going to get concealers out of the way since they're in the front we're going to go pretty quickly through everything so let's start right here this is the catrice one drop weightless concealer this didn't work for me it wouldn't cover i'm getting rid of that this is from ulta this is their full coverage liquid concealer i like that one because it seems to hold up for spot concealing. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I can't get this one to last underneath my eyes. It just looks blotchy and patchy. The Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer is so good for me for spot concealing with the actual foundation and I do like that one. Do you guys remember the Tarte Maracuja Concealer? This is their repackaged one. This is the cre Creaseless Concealer now. I do like this one. It is very nice coverage, very emollient. I have two of these that are spot, I'm sorry, correctors from LA Girl and I like the apricot and the green, the green for redness and the apricot for my dark circles. I use those all the time. And this one should be in the foundations. This is from L'Oreal. This is their new Age Perfect. I have a bunch of Age Perfect products that I'm going to reserve for a whole entire Age Perfect video slash review. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then this is the JCAT Beauty Stay Assurance. This is their, supposed to be their water sealed concealer. I did a video on this where I like this since then my skin has changed so much that it's super duper dry and I can't keep it. NYX can't stop won't stop very drying on my under eyes as well. I'm not keeping that one. From Believe Beauty same thing no coverage really and just didn't work out. This one from Milani I think I'm going to hold on to for a little while even though it's not the greatest underneath my eyes. It's really good for spot concealing and I really like it for that as well as the Too Faced Conceal this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have mine in vanilla. This isn't a light enough shade for me right now, but it is in the summertime when I wear darker and I'm kind of self-tanning. So I am going to keep that one for duping purposes. I'm not necessarily that I like it. This is from CoverGirl. This is a great one if you don't have super dry under eyes. So if you're an oily girl, this one's gonna work for you, but it doesn't work underneath my eyes. It's gonna go. There are two right here that are basically the same product. The It Bye Bye Under Eyes Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer and then the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Creaseless Crease proof concealer. These two are great. The Benefit Boing concealer. This one is terrible on me, you guys. It creases really bad, even though it says cakeless concealer, concealer, not concealer. It is really bad and it will crease on me every single time. So that one's a no go from Juvia's Place. This is their um, I Am Magic concealer. I'm going to keep that one. This one is great if you want to try and do your face with concealer, that whole thing that everybody's doing. 
that's how I'm going to use up some of these concealers. This one for the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer, this one is, if I use one dot of it, I'm okay in the summer. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is from Laura Geller. It's the Real Deal Concealer. This one works for me. It's emollient like some other ones that I have. Um, and then this one is the Conceal and Define and the Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution. You put these two together and they're great together. If you try to do just one or the other, they don't work. So I keep them and I use them together, you guys. And I am gonna keep the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Um, this is the concealer. It works really good with the foundation as well. And lastly, I am going to keep the ColourPop Pr Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I like all of those. Okay, those ones are my concealers that I'm keeping. So I'm just gonna go right over here. These are all of my primers. And I'm gonna go through these again fairly quickly. This is the one from Hourglass. This is the Veil Mineral Primer. I love that one. From Mally, this is the Prep and Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. Those, those two are just about the same exact product along with Angel Veil, and I'm keeping all of those. And also, the, also this Misha one is very much like those, but it has a lot of fragrance in it. So I'm really careful with this one. It has an illuminating property to it. I actually like this one on my body. I use it to be on my shoulders and my legs and stuff when I want that illuminating factor because it is a really pretty one as far as that goes. This one from Catrice, the Prime and Fine Keep Me Matte. This one, even though it says it's long lasting and oil free, it doesn't, it really, really dries me out. It's really bad, I can't use it. This is the Color Corrector one from Makeup Revolution. This is so green, you guys, that it will turn any foundation that you have into looking like you're a gray ghost. So I'm passing on that one. And this is the Revolution Putty Primer, Pore, Perf Pore Perfecting Primer that they were trying to dupe um, the Tatcha and the Elf one. And this one is stiff and I don't like it. It is just a dimethicone product, but I don't like it as much as the e.l.f. This one is from Koki, very drying, even though it says it's a hydrating foundation primer. This one is the Revolu Revolution Blur Stick. You guys, they're trying, I'm sure, to dupe milk makeup, but I have never seen such a hard product in my whole life. That thing is terrible. I, oh my gosh, steer clear of that if you absolutely can. These are from Smashbox and I have the little one and then the bigger one. I'm gonna keep the bigger one. I keep these for duping. And then this one's almost gone. This is the Photo Finish from Smashbox, their primerizer. I, that's almost gone. I've been using that up. I do like it. This is the original e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I like that one. I'm keeping it. From Revlon, this is the Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. I like this, but I'm gonna pass it along because somebody needs to use this up. I'm not gonna be able to use these before I need to use them all before they're done. From Derma Blend, this is their three-in-one Insta Grip Jelly Primer. I like this one for gripping onto your makeup. It really does a good job. And then this one from Believe Beauty, this is their Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. I didn't feel that it helped my makeup stay put. And then lastly, this is from Revlon. This is the Color Stay Prep and Prime Protect Base. This one has an SPF of 34 in it. Actually, that's not lastly. This is the Becca Prime Light Filter. I like this one a lot for that glow. And then this is the NYX Honey Do Me Up. And I love this one for just being really very moisturizing. And then I put a, a or minimizing one on top of it. So I do like that one. So we're gonna just push these over here out of the way. And then we're gonna start with these makeup sprays. And I really know exactly which ones of these I'm gonna keep and get rid of. And they all boil down to, was it too drying or not? And did, is it a fi finishing one or not? So that's really what I'm looking for here. So Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So this is the Flower Beauty Lumin Luminizing Setting Spray. And then this one is the L'Oreal. This one is their Shake and Glow one. And, and I like all of these very much. I'm gonna keep all three of these because I know that those are really great for a finishing spray on my, on my skin. And then I have Primer Water. So I have MAC Fix Plus. I have two of those. One is in a scent and I think it's coconut. And then the other one is Smashbox Primer Water. I use these up on my makeup sponges, so those are gonna stay as well. And then this one actually is a, a finishing spray too. This is not Algenes. I kept this because I like the sprayer. This one, it was from NYX. This is their Radiant um, Finishing Spray. So 
I do like it a lot and I'm using it up in this bottle because the next one spit at me and I don't like spit. So <laughs> I'm keeping that. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love these for my under eyes when I don't want to set my under eyes with any sort of powder. That works so good on there. And then these ones right here, I'm getting rid of the Beauty Creations Peach one. Too much of a fragrance, too drying. Same thing with the Milani Make It Last, even though I used to love this one to death, it just doesn't work for me anymore. I like the dewy one better. I've already gone through a dewy one and I don't like that one very much. This is the natural finish of the Wet n Wild. This used to work for me really well along with the e.l.f. one. But now that my skin's changing and I'm starting into menopause, things are so drying that these aren't working for me at all like they used to. I still like this. If you're still somebody that gets oil and breakthrough through the day, use one of these. You'll really like them and they'll keep your oil at bay. I don't like the Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray from Koki. It dried me out. It is not a hydrating spray at all. I do love the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray Dewy Finish from Flower Beauty. That's one of my favorites. I'm getting rid of the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. That one is too drying on me. And I'm gonna keep my bottle of Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. This one I use in the summer and it works really good during the summer. So I am keeping a couple of good setting ones, but most of these are hydrating or primer sprays because my skin is so dry. Oh, and I missed a primer. Okay, you guys, this is from Laura Geller. This is her Spackle, the Tinted Under Makeup Primer. This one is in Champagne. I love this stuff, you guys. Um, in the summer, if you're looking for something that's going to give you a little glow, it's gonna fill in your pores. It's got some dimethicone, but it's really hydrating too. This is so good. That's why I have a huge one of it. So I really like that one. Okay, we're gonna go on to powders and I'm gonna um, show you my finishing powders first because those are ones that I'm not getting rid of and then we'll go on to the other powders. So Milani Prep Set and Glow, that's a finishing powder that I'm not getting rid of. I really love that. And somewhere over in the corner of my room, there's also a Flower Beauty Glow Powder. This is the Bye Bye Pores Illumination one and I like that for a finishing dusting powder as well. I love my Lancome Absolute Powder and this is an Absolute Golden. It's a gorgeous finishing powder. I think it's just, an outstanding one that makes you just, your skin look so perfected and pretty. This one is from Hourglass and I'm hitting pan on this one. This one is the Luminous Light. I love this. This I, is from Givenchy. I want to use this up this year. I'm really going to work hard on using this up. This was a present from my husband and um, I, I love the powder. It doesn't have really any fragrance to it. It comes with the four different, um, con you know, different colors that come together and they make a really pretty brightening powder and I really do like that, but I'd like to use that up this year. I've had it too long. I'm going to be getting rid of all of the setting powders that I have except for three. These are the two more expensive ones. This is the Hourglass glass veil translucent setting powder and then the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm keeping both of these for two reasons. One, yes, I do like them very much, especially in the summer when it's humid, but two, they cost a bloody ton of money and I don't want to get rid of them and I'd like to dupe them for you guys when I can. So I'm keeping those. This one is a really expensive one. This is from by Terry. I got this from Beautylish. It's going back. This is one of their tinted loose powders from them. It's a Hydra powder and I got it because I thought, oh cool, Hydra powder, that's gotta mean that this is going to help my skin not be so dry, but that's not the case. So I'm really disappointed in this, very expensive powder and very drying. So I am actually getting rid of that one. That one's going back. I'll put that in the declutter pile, even though it's going back. This is from Koki. This is a loose powder, very drying on me and doesn't work. This one is the Essence All About Max matte fixing compact. If you guys have um, oily skin, you might really like this. Very, very creamy, you guys. Um, would keep your oil at bay without, you know, getting you too matte or a cakey. I really do like that one. This one from Juvia's Place is really, this one I'm going to have a hard time with, but I think I'm going to declutter it too because all of my powders that are loose are just too drying. So, I might, keep, this is a maybe. I'm gonna put that one over there. This one's a keep. This is my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. You guys just saw that in a video, my top five favorite powders. This was also in there, the Elf Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. 
Love that, very creamy. This one was in there too, the Physician's Formula. Healthy Powder, I love this, this one as well. Another one that was in there is from L'Oreal, the True Match. I'll make sure I link that video for you guys. This is my second one of these. This is one of my very favorite, second or third, one of my very favorite powders that I've been using for a long time. And this is the exception to the rule at the drugstore for keeping a loose powder. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me. I love this powder. I think it's a fantastic powder. I will continue to use it. It does not dry me out like all the other loose powders from the drugstore. So I am keeping that one as well. Um, and then I have the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Um, I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to keep the e.l.f. one um, and I like those in the summer. Again, they can pick up a lot of um, oils if you're having, you know, a very humid day. I do like those in the summer. This is from Tarte, a little sample of their loose powder I'm getting rid of. Revolution Pro loose powder, getting rid of that one. This one is from Catrice. This is their Healthy Look Mattifying Powder. This is supposed to be a brightening powder. I don't mind this one. I actually think this one is really creamy and I had a hard time not putting this one into my favorites. So probably gonna keep that one from Believe Beauty, a loose powder, that one is going. This one is from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus. I almost put this one in my top five as well, but um, it just wasn't just that right, almost creaminess that I like. Also the NYX no filter line, hashtag no filter line. I like this one very much. I am ruining my fingernail polish. I like this one a lot. So this one almost went into that video too. So those are two that almost went into the video. The number one pressed powder that I use that did go into the video is from Flower, Flower Beauty and the Light Illusion and love that powder for a little bit extra coverage and how great it is. And then this one is the It Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting UVA UVB 50 plus uh, broad spectrum SPF. Okay, <laughs> this one is so good you guys, just to keep in your purse for the touch-ups during the day and getting a little bit of protection on your face. That's why I keep it. I don't necessarily like to touch up with powder during the day, but it's creamy enough that you can get your UV protection reapplied without disturbing your makeup. So that's why I keep that one and I like it very much. Okay, you guys, I did do a top 10 of my favorite drugstore foundations and I went into at length why I like those so much. So the Healthy Skin Foundation from Physicians Formula was in there. The uh, Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation, that, that one was in there um, as well. So I like that one a lot. There was also the Conceal and Hydrate. Um, those were in there. I have, them in, have this in two colors because uh, mix them together, I have my perfect color. So I am going to be keeping those. The one from Believe Beauty that was in that video, love it. The one from Koki that was in that video, I love that as well. These all went in my top 10. And then this one is the Soap and Glory um, All Day Wear. Yeah, you know what it is. And uh, this one was my number one, love it. So and this one I put in a recent loves video. This one I found, this is from Physicians Formula Organic Wear. I love that silk one. That's a silk foundation elixir. The number seven, Lift and Luminate. This one I love. You guys told me about that one. And you told me about the Color Stay from Revlon. And I love that one as well. So those are all great ones. So here are my high-end ones right here, you guys. Um, from NARS, this is my summer go-to foundation because it holds up so good in humidity. And I really love it. This is the Radiant Foundation. I love that one. From Zoeva, I did a whole video on how beautiful and perfecting this is on your skin. From Dose of Colors, this one I'm not crazy about. Every time I wear it, it doesn't last on me very long. So that one is going. And I found the same thing with the Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this is the All Hours Foundation. I didn't like this one. It didn't it just didn't give me a flawless finish like it says it should. So I am getting rid of that one. I just got this one from Becca. Um, they gifted it to me through Oct the Octoly Network for a review. And I tried this yesterday and it was really, really yellow on me. It just seemed to turn yellow really quickly. I'm going to try it a couple more times and let you guys know I'm gonna try and color correct it with my color correcting pigments I have. And I'll let you guys know on that one from IT. I love this one. It is their CC matte one. I don't know why it doesn't look that matte on me, but I love it. From Ofra, I love this one too. This is their Absolute Cover Full Coverage Foundation. And then from Tarte, this is their Face Tape. This is one of my probably all time favorite ever foundations that I have high end. 
and um, really like this one. This I one is going from Revlon. This is one I'm not keeping. This is their Candid Glow. No coverage in this whatsoever. I did not like this one. Do not pass go. Do not get $200. And the Milani Screen Queen. There was no coverage in these two whatsoever. And like I said in my last video, if I'm going to go to all the trouble of putting on foundation, I want it to at least look like I have foundation on. So those are going. The NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. I mix these into foundations that don't give me enough coverage. Not like those two, but the ones that I do like that don't give me enough coverage on any given day. I can mix these in and really like it. From Wet n Wild, I have both their Dewy and their Matte. Now, originally when I got the Dewy, I had said that I really didn't like it. And then I watched so many positive reviews on it. I went back and I tried it and tried it and tried it. And guess what? I do kind of like it. It's kind of really good. It's a dewy or foundation. It does last fairly good. But you know what? Again, mixing these two together, you have a really, really good foundation, you guys. This pretty fresh, this is a hyaluronic acid tinted moisture. I would say this is more of a medium coverage. If I want more coverage on any given day, but I want a lot of moisture, I'll fix, I'll mix in the NYX Total Control Drops in with this, just a couple drops, and it makes such a gorgeous foundation that lasts and it gives me hydration. And I'm hoping I'm not bumping that camera too much. The, the NYX Born to Glow, so many people have told me that this is so good on them. I'm going to give this another try, even though I was going to declutter it. I'm going to try and fix the color on this and see what I think and give you guys a different review. The Super Stay, this is full coverage, um, long lasting, supposed to be 24 hours from Maybelline. I like keeping this one because in the summertime, this one works so good for me. So I'm going to keep that one along with the Juvia's Place Summertime. That's a good one for summertime. These ones I'm going to probably be getting rid of. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, way too drying on me and it looks so patchy. This one, when it first goes on from Maybelline, the Dream Radiant Liquid, I cannot get this one to work whatsoever. I've tried so many times and it goes on so patchy and so gross and I just cannot get that one to work. So that one's going as well. The Milani Conceal and Perfect, actually I might keep this one because I want to do a full face of Milani for you guys. So I might actually keep that one. So those are the foundations that I'm keeping. So the ones in the front right here I'm getting rid of you guys. There are 33 things that I'm getting rid of. I'm actually really proud of that. So I'm really happy that I got to go through these. These are going finally and they're going to a better home in a better place and maybe somebody that can use them. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like seeing declutter videos and a little bit about why I declutter. This one was kind of a quick run through, but I'm really glad that I got to do it for you guys. And I hope that I get to do many, many reviews for you on foundations. I did powders and I did primers. Setting sprays come next and concealers. So watch for both of those videos. I hope you guys liked it. Please take care of yourselves. I will see you all very soon in my very next video. I love you. Bye.